Welcome to the Flickering Torch Podcast with Mr. Dead Scott and Gary or Smite. And welcome back. Um, it's been way too long for us on recording. You guys, it's probably been nothing. Or for those of you who have been listening to us on a regular basis, we're so sorry, but thank you. Um, <laughs> I blame work. Stupid work. Life. And life. Um, yes, indeed. Today's topic is going to be achievements or chivos or what trophies, uh, steam Com- achievements, completionist kind of crap completionist dream depending on how you kind of want to work and work it um i hear uh mr dead scott have been a recovering achievement hunter or achieve a whore depending on the terms and circles you kind of hang out with um so i have a ton of experience sadly in this department um whereas gary you uh i'm the anti-achievement person because i don't give a rat's about achievements because they never provided me anything like, I mean, Gamer Score was cool when it came out with Xbox. You mean Digital Penis Score? Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, that's cool, I can keep track of it. And then people who had a hell of a lot of money and time to play video games had like 12,000 of them here at like three. It's not... Yeah, it never provided me anything. So I'm the anti-achievement person. Uh, unless there's, of course, a reward to it, which... Which is rare nowadays. Yeah, which that's my big thing that we'll get into, but... Yeah, that, that'll be a separate topic on um, probably unlocking versus DLC, or something <laughs> considering unlocking and what the hell happened to that. Yeah. I, no, I mean, I will go over it later, a little bit at least, because that's one of my main arguments with achievements. Um, but I guess starting off, what, we have multiple platforms. We have Xbox, Gamerscore... Uh, at least from 360 I haven't played one so I'm not familiar it should still be gamer score yeah I don't own an Xbox one I'm a PC so you said PlayStation has trophies correct Steam has their achievement system achievement system which really doesn't do any gamer score it's an achievement system without a digital penis it's it's all based too on just the individual game it's not like a collection of how many achievements you've knocked out it's just each game has its own achievements here's the ones you've done here's the ones you haven't good luck they do have their card system though i mean it's not really based on achievement but that is its own kind of Oh, the card trading system? Yeah, that's its own kind of digital penis, like how many cards yeah. you collect and rares and all that stuff. Or I've met some people that have been intent on getting the card I possessed and not realizing what card I had or cared the card I had. Wallet Warriors? Uh, in oh, a yeah. sense, because, I mean, you have to. I want, they cut you off at one point, so you have to buy the cards. So, I mean, those are unlockables, but they kind of give it to you, like, the first quarter of the game. So. You get a couple, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, we know Uplay has its own achievement system that actually has a reward system. Which is nice, although very minimal when it comes to it. But hey, it's something. Yeah, you know, in-game stuff for some people is game-changing and altering, even though it may be, you know, un poquito on its actual uh, functionality within the game. But yeah. hey, skins are cool. Yeah, I, they offer soundtracks like uh, Siege. That's true. Uh, I played The Division, they like, oh, hey, Siege, you can spend your point. So that cross-gaming uh, mm-hmm. spending is kind of nice. Um, Battle.net actually has achievements too. I never realized until like got Overwatch. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know if it's newer or what, but I mean, it's achievements. They don't give you anything, so it's like, oh yeah, you unlock this. It might be a good goal, but I'll just go pound someone's face with my bullets in Overwatch <laughs> and not care about achievements. Um, so th- those are the platforms that I know. There's probably a lot more. Yeah, we're probably missing a ton. Um. Yeah, we know. never claim to be experts. No. I don't think Origin has any, though. I can't remember. But Forgin, who cares about Just... that? I mean, really, the main ones are Battle.net and Steam, just because Blizzard owns... The world? The world, it seems like. They're like the Google of gaming. Indeed. Um, but as you can tell by the success of Overwatch and how that blew up. But um, So I guess uh, let's talk about how the achievement systems work the general oh to the the lay person yeah so So the achievement itself is um a specific requirement as you guys may or may not know um you know based on doing a certain action completing the game a certain difficulty finishing a set chapter or chronicle within the story or using the mini golf putter to wipe out five thousand zombies um, where you're declared the mini golf champion or some crap like that Um, some can be funny some can be cute some can be extra story related stuff um tons of different avenues based on with them and so as you unlock the achievement it usually has a fancy little sound and icon that pops up and makes yay um <laughs> which you know when when you're when you're hooked like i was that was kind of your form of digital crack um just to see that thing pop up and and i believe there are options in the newer versions of like 
Um, for example, like the PS4 and Xbox One, where you can actually share that moment you unlocked it on like social media. Since they record as they go, kind of yeah, thing. yeah. So, so there's one thing about that topic-wise is. Uh, there's no standardization in achievements. Developers can really choose what they want and submit what they want to be the achievements. Right. They, they have full... so, And that's good and bad. For one, it's bad because some are so... Ridiculous? Ridiculous and dull. Like, I literally do not want to grind for an achievement. I like doing something cool and getting rewarded with an achievement, although I don't care for achievement. It's still like, hey, you do this cool thing that we knew was possible, but it was hard to do. Here's a little tag saying, you are the internet badass over here. Uh, and, you know, there's other ones that are just simply grinding. Like, I don't have time to grind 50,000 zombies or right. uh, get level 80 raid gear from this boss and crap like that. So, And that's the thing. There's Along with that, a lot of people have the issue with achievements being single-player and multiplayer achievements and multiplayer achievements i would argue are truly achievements in one form or another because you're working either with or against other people mm -hmm. to pull this kind of thing off like um, i remember specifically playing a like left 4 dead 2 the multiplayer in that where you would play as the infected and as the humans and some of those infected achievements that you would try to shoot for were just really stupid hard yeah. uh, i think one of them was like as the charger knocked down all four human individuals and like successfully kill one or two of them or something or survive and like the only way you could do that is like at the end of the game on a certain round of like filling the gas tank into the generator where everybody was just chilling there and you had to be like perfectly in your aim hope to god they didn't see you coming because a couple bullets and you were toast yeah um but i remember some of those online achievements i would somewhat avoid games like that because in my own delusional drug-induced mind of uh, wanting those achievements I, I would say like well it's got too many i'd actually look online before i got the game figure out what achievements were okay half of them or over half are multiplayer ones that's not going to help my score because i'm in some sort of stupid contest with my friend or friends or myself <laughs> thinking that the higher the number the better i was or the more cool i was or the larger my genitalia was um, virtual genitalia. virtual <laughs> genitalia mind you uh, so it's i would avoid those games you know and, and sometimes i'm willing to admit yes i would buy the the crappy third-rate developer game that i knew had a bunch of really dumb single-player achievements that in my free time i could hammer out no problem um to float and kind of pad my score yep and uh, there's there's a little shame associated with that in that part of my life. Yeah. Uh, thank you for reopening that wound, everyone. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> so, so there's there's good and bad. Like it's I like the achievements, like you're saying for Left 4 Dead, that are hard but doable and give you a goal. Achievements that give you a goal, whether you like achievements or not, are rewarding. Um, like but when those. They take over is the question. That's the scary part. Yeah. They become <laughs> overwhelming. Yeah. There there are some games that have just abundance of achievements it's like i don't really want to sit here and have to grind through all 75 achievements but you know there's a there's a point where there's like way too many or you're handing them out too quickly or too little mm -hmm. there's a really fine line but there's no standardization there's no there's no set rules of how people like to feel when they receive an achievement so i don't know what game it was but it has like 100 achievements in steam and it's like i really don't want to play a game that long oh i mean look at look at your standard mmos and their achievements like they're they're probably close to like a couple hundreds yeah of achievements like oh yeah take each class up to max level you know teach teach and that's gear a grind. yeah oh that's that's a crazy amount of time that's uh, yeah and same. then you got time sensitive achievements missable achievements um, or trophies. Sorry, I keep forgetting to give PlayStations to. Um, you know, there's tons of stuff like that. And for some people who have that, like, true completionist aspect, which I'm still recovering from, and I'm still guilty of doing. Uh, <laughs> if you look at my Steam account, I do try every now and then on certain games. Um, well, that's not bad. Trying is not bad. Like I said, when it gives you a goal and a motivation to play the game more than what you normally would do, that's great. That's It's doing its job, I think. Uh, unless it's rewarding you, which is a whole other aspect. Right. Um, but if if it's giving you motivation to play the game more, the achievements are doing it right. Uh, it shouldn't be... I mean, I guess in a sense it should be bragging rights that you've done this really cool thing, but at the same time it should be more of a goal and a motivator. That's why achievements should be there. Right, sense. and I think that was a brilliant move on marketer developing whoever the hell thought of it um for each game is to give it its own achievement system because it does make you want to more just just play it more than just once like because i remember as a kid 
you know, a game's being so damn hard sometimes, you would you would beat the game and it automatically became this immortal trophy that you would never touch again, you know? Mm-hmm. Unless it was, like, one of your favorites. Like, so, because I know, like, on, on my bookshelf, like, the games that I have up there are ones that I've beaten and they're ones that I'm proud of that I've actually beaten. Once the achievement system came in, it gave you a reason to replay. It gave you a reason to go back. It gave you a reason to build possibly new relationships. I remember in the uh, Gears of War 3 game, um, I jumped online and found some buddies of mine, and one of them was my old professor, uh, his brother and a friend, and we all did insanity mode. And it took us like two and a half months with our schedules and just bad luck, and dear sweet God, it was hard (laughs) um, to do it. And when we all got it, it was great. But after that, like we kind of all just went our separate ways. Like We'd hang out occasionally, but... You know, it's like it was gone, but it did increase the length I did play that game mm-hmm. significantly. Whereas if I had just ran through the story, the story was what? I think like 12 hours, something like that. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know. Don't quote me. Insanity it extends it quite a bit. Right. So. But if you were to do it just on normal mode or hard, it's you know. It's been a while. I just, exactly. uh, I, didn't, I didn't cry. I was a man. I, I cried a lot, actually. Yeah, uh, twice. It was sad. We're not going to talk about spoilers. <laughs> yeah. uh, spoilers. We're not going into it. Uh, <laughs> Gears 4 would be spoilers. That. Three is a little past, but it's, yeah. yeah, details. One thing about the achievements is the fact, like you're saying, you got to meet with people that you don't get to play with now. So it's good to have a record of what you did. It's a good remembrance. So that's another good thing about a little nostalgia, if you yeah, will. yeah. Or like, American oh, nostalgia. I remember how I earned that one. You know, I was in my boxers in there drinking beer and randomly nudged the controller, and I got like six headshots. That was cool. It was three in the morning, and yeah. I was half asleep. And- yeah. Fell asleep on my controller and I unlocked a cheat code. <laughs> see that? That would be, that would, see that? That would be a good uh, achievement um, set up. I should do that when I develop a game. Oh, God. That reminds me of, uh, I think, like, Guitar Hero had, like, Bladder of Steel or something like that. And you had to play X number of songs that, like, calculated out to, like, an hour or something of straight play and perfect the damn thing. I mean, I'm completely wrong in my assumption. I can't remember exactly what the requirements are. But it was a lot of time you had to invest yeah. without screwing up. Oh, yeah. Guitar Hero. I can never do this game. Yeah, I, it's, I'm not good at rhythm games. The fingers, man. They just don't work. Uh, you have to open them. It, well, the team, oh, really? You can yeah, do that? I, I know, yeah. right? Crazy. Oh, I just slide the mouse and just pry it in New, new evolution. <laughs> know, crazy. Uh. But so achievements, uh, in-gamer score. Uh, so Steam doesn't keep track of score. Um at least up front, there's there's different things you can keep track of, but um, gamer score and trophies do, um, which I don't know what why they give a number besides digital penis, I guess, or genitalia, uh, besides outranking another company. Like, hey, you have. I suppose the number might have been like a kind of sole proprietorship kind of thing for like Microsoft. Like, hey, let's just give it a number and see what happens. Yeah. It's you a know, way to so track a people's score. games they've played, how many games they played, how much they invested. And, and they, they have a system for that. Because I know like with Sony, with the trophy system, like it's it's the same thing. Number of games you've played, but the trophies are varying. You know, there's bronze, silver, gold, yeah. platinum. Um, you know, and depending on the requirements you do and, and what achievement requirement is there to unlock it, it shows you the total number of each trophy you have. So, you know, like people can walk away with like a couple hundred bronze, no problem. You see a dude with, like, 50, 60 platinum, clearly someone who invests a lot of time in games yeah. and takes that kind of thing seriously. Is it a marketing thing? Let's aim for these these type of people who invest this much compared to these. I mean, that's one way to look at it. It's like, possible. I, 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 yeah, I don't know, but I'm like, now that I think about it, that's actually a good way to keep track of your uh, how many groups of gamers, how many casuals compared to, like... A completionist, elitist, things like mm-hmm. that. And I'm guilty as being a completionist. So like uh, growing up playing Final Fantasy games, um, you know, I might do a blind run in the first go, but then the second or third time I pick it up and play it, like there's a guide next to me, either online or a physical book. Yeah. Um, because I didn't want to miss out on some of the cool shit and the cool gear or a side mission I totally screwed up on. Um, and so, like for the completionists, like achievements offer a great incentive to keep playing. Um, you know, they give you kind of that that reason to kind of keep going, that reason to see it through to the end, that reason to finish it and be like, ah. Oh, so they're doing their job. Finally. You know, so uh, getting the most out of the game, if you will. Yeah. However, uh, sometimes I feel like maybe with the whole rivalry that happens with certain gamers and other players, like it may be off-putting for a casual player or someone who just wants to enjoy the story. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm 
the way I looked at it is I never cared about the score. I never used the achievements to like, oh, find this piece of gear or anything like you did. Mm-hmm. I always like, I'll find the story and stuff. And if I get it as I go, great. But I'm always a story hunter or how can I experience this world more, but not so much like I'll, I'm a completionist. I've never been a completionist except for Super Metroid. Uh, because I love that game to death, and every energy cell you gained was important. Yes. Uh, but besides that aside, I was never been a completionist ever. Like I will finish a game st- like full story, uh, but I never, I rarely ever in a game do all the side missions and everything in it. Uh, Oblivion's the exception because I spent like most of my teenage life playing that. So over <laughs> years, and over and over. Years yeah. Of investment. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> But um, so I guess that brings it to um, so gamer score and trophies. It, it's a physical number, but the number means nothing. So true. It well, has, it's, it's an individual representation. Yeah. See, this is where it's coming back. I'm I'm going back to those old ways. Yeah, it, it has no value though. Besides, not necessarily bragging rights, but that's partial of it. But keeping record of what you've done and accomplished. But I swear there should be some value in which those those numbers have meaning. Like when it comes to you play is um, reward system. Reward system is you unlock and that's how you get points. I'm not exactly sure on the. I just ended up having points and I'm like, oh sure I'll spend them. Who you know I'll get a nice shiny gun skin. Who cares? Um, so I'm not sure exactly how you play works, but unlocking achievements grants reward you know points a right. score. Uh, so there's some beneficial. Do you think that Microsoft and Sony should implement that or keep it how it is? Oh, uh, gosh. Like, it would be nice to see some sort of, and they may have a system that you and I don't know about, obviously, because uh, I'm a recovering Chivo hunter and you didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so if there is one, we don't know. Um, again, we're not claiming to be experts. It would, it would be nice if there was something like that, I would argue. Like... Um, Maybe something along the lines of, and I know this would never work, but maybe like um, individuals of a completing a certain amount of achievements or completing all achievements in said game could possibly be able to um, receive like a free DLC and not like a, a full story add on or side mission add on, but like maybe like a free skin. Or a free unlockable hidden character. Like soundtrack. I swear I've or played a soundtrack. game where I've great. played through and unlocked a soundtrack. I just can't remember. That, that would be really cool to see something like that with the achievement system. Like cash in in one form or another. Because you've already made the investment into playing that game. It would be cool to see some form of a reward. Kind of like in old school days where you'd invest so much time and you'd unlock something. Yeah. Which, God, I miss those days. We're not going to go into that too far. but I mean, achievement, you are unlocking something. So you think you'd physically get... And I but sometimes items. there's no reward. Yeah. Like I know we were talking about like Stardew Valley. Like when you unlock an achievement, I swear to God, guys, I'll get through that first year and we'll talk about it. Give, give me time. <laughs> um, when you unlock that those achievements, they unlock hats that you can buy in game. So they're nothing more than cosmetic. But at the same time, it is that digital slash physical reward mm-hmm. that you get from it. And people love cosmetics. Yes. Uh, we know that from uh, Fallout Four. Oh, uh, any. Uh, the, microtransaction the oh, game, God, yes. yeah. So uh, we know that cosmetics are important. I gotta have them fairy wings. Yep. Gotta have them on my character. <laughs> um, but I, I like Sardew Valley how it rewards you. It rewards you in a different way. It doesn't just hand you the reward like, oh, here you go. But it allows you to further enhance your game. Or I don't know if direct rewarding is the best way to go, or doing what Stardew does will allow you to purchase right. in game uh, i guess allow purchasing allows you to play the game more to uh, you know get those things you unlocked mm-hmm. um but it allows customizable options that others may not have right um which i like so it, w- it would be nice to see some form of cash out system or reward system or something if if you're going to put achievements in a game aside from just having them give another incentive would be my argument I feel like that's half, like over half the Steam uh, marketplace is they just have achievements because every other game does. Like yeah, and there's some familiarity with that. It it makes it like oh well, like gosh, you know, I wish I could get some sort of reward. Like even though completing that start part of the story or the game should be enough reward that experience. Yeah. 
it's it's so it's almost um it's almost a marketing ploy on enhancing the experience of each person's game to where if like you know they bought a game that has chapters and like well completing a chapter eh, you know whatever oh cool i got something for completing chapter 12 you know yeah like adds a little something to it i guess it just depends on each individual person but since it's become so mainstream now it feels less fulfilling sometimes. now that every, like every game re- not requires but it's almost has. Like it has to have yeah. achievements otherwise it's not going to fit in today's marketplace it feels less fulfilling having achievements especially since like i said there's a lot of games that are just so cluttered with achievements it becomes meaningless um but you have 100 achievements i mean that's great but do you really have meaning for i mean unlocking all of them would be is a huge that's a feat that's, yeah that's a huge feat but i think that they should be hard enough where few are better um, compared to a mass, but like Steam is just so littered with them. I, I can't think of a game that doesn't have a crap ton. Um, Most have, I mean, I'd argue maybe like the, the Telltale games, um, like The Walking Dead or The Wolf Among Us or what was one of the other ones. Um, you know, their achievements are, are tiny. They're, they're for actually investing into the story. They're not for making a decision necessarily one way or the other, but investing into the story playing through. So those achievements... Um, like 25 to 40 achievements or so. Oh, they have less. It's like 12, really? you know? Oh. Like, it just depends on chapters. Uh, so with those, you know, like, the achievements are really more than just, like, added fluff. Like, to me, I don't even care about those, so I'm really more invested in that story. Uh, provide my point, though, added fluff. Right. You know. Whereas the ones that where you look on the global servers and see how many people have gotten this achievement it says less than 0.1 percent it's like i can do that yeah and it's you know that's like a hundred hour investment if not more or some sort of game breaking mechanism yeah um you know ex- exploit you can find to make it work or friends who are willing to sacrifice their time to give you that <laughs> digital badge yeah uh, <laughs> kill yourself a thousand times for me please. yeah let me kill you <laughs> I, uh, still. <laughs> I do like actually story games having achievements for chapters because like Ori in the Blind Forest I made it like halfway through and then I just kind of died Stopped. off and yeah and I haven't gone back to it but having an achievement system that pointed out that I've only completed it um, like halfway through you've only made it to chapter 6 of 12 that would give me incentive to finish because like now I feel like I've you know, I copped out. It's like yeah, I, you I, see the end I, of we it. need you know, and I'm like I should I should finish this. It shows that I've only had six, but that brings to another point where achievement systems aren't really in your face, like because they don't have much rewards though. Like when you pull up a game, I forget achievements exist. They're there on somewhere on the page, and I can't re- I can't remember for the life of me where they're located. Uh, so but... you're lucky because my eye gravitates right to them, really? whether I want to or not. Yeah, I guess it's just because I've never liked them for so long. Or like with Steam, if you don't install the game, you can't see the achievements. So I'll take up the hard drive space just to look at them, <laughs> and then maybe play the game a little bit because I got it on the summer sale or some crap like that. Can you go like... to the marketplace and see? It, you, yeah, that'd be the easier way of doing yeah, things instead uh, of installing like twenty gigs. Um... I never said I was smart. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty, but not smart. Aww. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, if if they were, I guess, in your face, and there were less of them, I think it would be more rewarding. I think that developers these days should actually go back and look at them and say, well, instead of just including them because every other game does, let's make them meaningful and rewarding. Um, if they can't be rewarding like story-driven games, you really can't change the story just for an achievement. I mean, if you can, props to you, you know, but... Yeah, good luck. Uh, Unless there's multiple endings. It, 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 yeah, exactly. If Actually, I do like that, letting you know there's multiple endings, because sometimes, like, Dark Souls is so vague, you don't really know there's multiple endings, unless you hit NPCs a certain way. So, in that aspect, it's good. Um, but they should either be rewarding or should be in your face saying hey you've accomplished this Ch- you know check this out that you've accomplished this far in a game mm-hmm. things like that um but I, I i don't know why developers shy away from actually harnessing the power achievement systems could provide yeah and one thought that just popped into my head is um with achievements and basing it on certain games like you could have like let's say for example the family games that are out there like the lego games yeah. um i can totally see leaving achievements in there because as a little kid, that's a great way to, you know, boost confidence, show completing a job to the end. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot of added bonuses that go with that, whether they lear- know they're learning it or not. Yeah. Um, you know, whereas, like, just, you know, a first-person shooter that has killed 5,000 people, eh, 
you know, is it really necessary to have that in there? You're going to probably do it anyway through the course of the game. Yeah. Um, or keep playing it. It's and a filler. It's a little bit filler. Um, and I can see it, too, where some of us who may be on, like, budgets or, you know, financial issues of some form or another, achievements are great because it, it gives you that reason of replayability. It gives you that yeah. opportunity to play more, get invested, and have that reward system. And in some aspects, those little, those little fluff achievements are good, and they are motivators for certain cases. I just feel the general math of them are just fluff for fluff. Sadly, but, yes. like, but like you said, for the kids one, is actually a perfect example yeah. because kids really benefit from simple reward systems, you know, um, not cause and effects, but anything that provides a reward there, they eat up. Like candy, yeah. um, or you give them candy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like but candy has rewards too. So, um, so that that's actually a great one. Like all the Lego ones, giving achievements for completing, that's perfect for children. Mm-hmm. Uh, when it comes to adults, though, like we look myself, at it from different aspects. we have different. Yeah, because like my time is money, or spending with my toddler and stuff like that. So like investing a lot of time is not the greatest. So the achievements for doing all those aren't necessary great or but uh, you as someone who's not hooked on them or strives to finish them it's easy for you to put it down Mm -hmm. Uh, for me if i had a child and i was in that boat man i'd be up to like two or three in the morning on a regular basis uh, good luck yeah Yeah, i'll try to keep it try yeah Uh, (laughs) in between diaper changes you know like uh okay yeah it looks good change yourself yeah you're one now you could do it on your own (laughs) no no powder first there you go yeah yeah Uh, Ooh, talent. Good job. Achievement. There yeah, you go. Oh, good <laughs> you get these uh, colorful diapers now. Um, well, I mean, actually, let's look at it this way, too, from real-world achievements. Like, uh, I, when it was my 30th birthday and we were all hanging out, and, uh, yep, I, I aged myself and dated myself there. Good luck, guys. <laughs> uh, but on my 30th birthday, I took a picture. There's a picture of me with my, my, fa- my hand covering my face. And just for fun, I put in the little achievement symbol, achievement unlock, the big 3-0, and put a birthday cake in there. <laughs> I love those. Like, I see, like, uh, weddings from, like, achievement unlock. Yeah, you got marriage. married and things like that. I There's a few systems I've seen online, and my wife pointed out, because she's Facebook, social media, and all that stuff, that, like, people actually come up with creative ways, and there's books on, actually, achievements in life, uh, which I think are great because oh, yeah. the re- you can associate to yourself real life. It's not like you're going to go out and kill 5,000 people. Don't do that. Yeah, please don't do that. Yeah, don't. That's we bad. We do not condone that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so don't do that. But there's like real life <laughs> achievements. And you can like reward yourself for doing those things. It's not like a simple like, oh, I made it through the day at work. Let's go get dinner or made it survive the week or talk to my boss. But there is a book where you can keep track of your achievements. Uh-huh. And... Uh, it tells you why you should benefit. There's tons of things like that. Which well, the psychology behind it is great in yeah. those aspects, uh, not only as children, but I remember as uh, um, as an adult, I went to PAX many, many years ago when I could still get tickets so easily. Um, sorry, it's just way too popular now um, and hard to get tickets. The uh, One of the creators up there um, was talking about how he, he was making – there's some app on his phone back when apps were kind of somewhat new, um, and it talked about like he had a quest – that he had to do like he had to visit this booth or he had to eat this box of cereal or something like that and upon completing that quest he got xp and he gave himself a reward system for every time he leveled up like yeah. he would allow himself to like you know have a cocktail or or what have you whatever the the preference was but so there's some psychology with that on achievements as well like if you have well now we're talking about in world achievements versus in game well it, it's it's, same but it's almost as much the same yeah yeah, yeah. cuz like the ex- I guess I, the, the, a lot of the things that I was talking about aren't necessarily achievements as in gaining experience to reach those achievements because uh, a lot of the books are associated on like, oh, you gain experience for doing such and such. But, I, I mean, the same rules apply, though. It's like the achievements in-game should just be as rewarding in a somewhat different way, obviously, right. um, than the game, like in-game and real life. I mean, they should have the same kind of value. Like, oh, I've accomplished something. I feel good about myself. Right. Instead of just like, oh, I made it through another day at work. Yay. Yeah, that's not much of an achievement, um, sadly. Although for some people it could be seen as one. Um, But it's not something you keep track of. It's just fluff. You know, I know, you know, 365, is it 356 or 65 days in a year? 
I oh I'm dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dyslexic, so that's that one's the hardest number to remember. I'm gonna let the viewers correct that yeah, for you uh, just to mess with you. Question of the week. <laughs> How many is there in here, everybody? <laughs> Gary can't look it up apparently. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, there's not a time my recording to Google it. Uh, <laughs> I'm dyslexic, so leave me alone. Okay, continue. Uh, I'm sorry. But that's odd because I type all day for my job. Anyways, um, I'm surprised I'm not fired. So I made it through my day. Achievement. <laughs> Yay. I made it a day. Um, and some days, it definitely is seen as an achievement for successfully not, quote, in office space, burning down the building. Yep. Um, that's an achievement within itself, some people would argue, or I would definitely argue on off days. That's my, that's my stapler. I took your stapler for a reason. You're not getting it back. Um, that's right. I took it. I love uh, that. <laughs> but, yeah, um, you know, real world in life achievements can be tailored individually that way, such as the developers do in the game. And so, you know, yeah, like, you should have moments like that where it's, it's kind of like a... It's kind of a way to kind of promote and create your own happiness, if you will. Um, and if that totally works, it totally works. If not, you know, it's up to you. It just kind of depends on how you look at it. So the real question I suppose we could ask now would be achievements in games, good or bad? And I don't think there truly is a good answer for that. It's in like wonderful gray area that we all love to explore. I guess that's why it's good it's not standardized because you can add, provide any answer and it's correct. Uh, and it's all based on personal preference of what you like because everybody's situation is different and how they like to be rewarded. So that's a different, I, you know, of course we're putting both of our personal opinions Thoughts. and we're neither of us are right or wrong um i uh, just really you know, some people are more wrong than others <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> but I, you know i'm just saying i would like to see more reward and benefit and that's where i usually would like to know what you guys think of the system and how would you correct it i guess would be or a good change thing. input modify what have you I, I definitely agree i would love to see um and certain games are doing this of course but i'd love to see more of a let's bring back the days of unlocking stuff mm -hmm. and if achievements truly unlock things in games i think that would be a great incentive to use i would i would unlock every achievement at that point oh yeah most certainly yeah there'd be a reason to mm -hmm. and even if it was like you know like let's let's take for example uh and i remember this because this is what nintendo did when the first smash brothers came out um you know they would have uh different moments where you would unlock different fighters because they didn't have achievements yeah. however nowadays like well, let's say you know okay like yeah if you guys want to unlock a certain fighter you know you have to do a certain achievement now i know most fighting games it's a progression or a requirement system of one form or another but it would be kind of cool to be able to see um something or another like that but you know we're definitely going to kind of keep working on that as time goes on sorry about that guys we had a bit of a family emergency we had to address real quick and Due to the length of the time of that in the middle of recording, we have forgotten where we were talking about and where we were in our train of thought. So we're going to treat you all with a little short version here today and kind of wrap it up. Uh, next time we meet, we'll definitely talk about one or two things. If, God willing, I get far enough in Stardew, we can talk about that. Or we'll definitely probably next topic will be... Well, we'll progress on to the reward systems um, Such as and only. unlocking and stuff in games. Um and that kind of actually ties in with Stardew, as we mentioned in this conversation. So uh, that's a huge topic as well. Because um, glory be to Stardew. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, m I miss unlocks. I really do. Me too. Um, so that will be one of our, well, either one of those will be our next topic. Um, so we'll hopefully get that recorded and uploaded soon for you guys. So Unless uh, you want to give us a topic, and then we'll kind of go from there as well. Yep. So give us an answer to our question about um, achievements today, and we will... Uh, see you on the next one. This is the Flickering Torch Podcast with Smythus and Mr. Dead Scott. And we'll see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>